So we ordered parts the other day. After ripping into this thing, I realized we need some more stuff. One thing we're gonna need that kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world, is this coil bucket right here. I guess when you hit the curb, it literally cracked the coil bucket, but this just bolts on, it's four bolts. How much could it be? That's to the uh, dealership, and I'm like, oh my God. 1,700. And then also, this is the biggest L of, of the findings. Of the findings, yeah, this is an L right here. This caliper I thought was good, but the bleeder valves that you bleed the caliper with are busted off, so I don't think that can be fixed, but it just just depends how much a caliper is. If a caliper is only a couple hundred bucks, we're just gonna buy a new caliper. For the most part, we got all the big stuff ordered. So, about to roll out to the dealership, make a little list, check it twice, make sure if Matthews has been uh, naughty or nice. Yeah, do I get a CA if I'm being good? Oh, we need those. <laughs> need a lot of those. We need a lot of those. A lot more of those. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, the boys out here at Roger Dean gave me a little, little do-rag. Check it out. What do you guys think? I think that's not a do-rag. <laughs> <laughs> so I need the uh, coil bucket for the driver's side. Thank you, you too. Matthews, let's see it. No handle, you're not allowed to touch the handle. You got the hat on, you can do anything. And he goes for the jump. Does he do it? Oh. <laughs> I have to hold on, there's no way. <laughs> All right boys, so the time has come to keep working on this vet. Today, our goals are this. We gotta fix the Corvette, but not just the Corvette. The interior of the Corvette. It needs a little bit of love. I'm not gonna lie, we kinda already started and we didn't film it, but I'll show you what we got going on. So these seatbelts are locked up, and the reason they're locked up is because I don't know who was riding with Rod when he wrecked, but he must have had a passenger in, because this one's locked up and that one's locked up. And if you look at this side, let me show you. This side, the airbag went off, and this seatbelt is like locked tight. And the only reason it'd be locked tight this much is because he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. So, you know, your boy, I don't know why I wasn't wearing a seatbelt, but. Thugs don't wear seatbelts. <laughs> At least he's all right. We're glad he didn't get hurt. So we need to pull these out, send them out to my guys over at Safety Restore. They're hooking me up. And then there's also two modules inside here. I don't even know what they look like, but we're gonna have to find them and uh, send all that stuff out and get this stuff fixed. Bro, get out of the seat. We have to work. We can't just hang out. Come on, bro. We gotta get the seat out. Dude, I was like, you always get a bus kill, bro. I'm just trying to like, just trying to vibe. <laughs> so to get these seat belts out, you gotta take these front bolts out because these are so tight, I can't get it loose. And right here, there's a little quick disconnect. So I took the bolt out of there already. I did that before the video happened. But now, you know, easy stuff right here. smell the fumes oh my god bro it literally was so tight it like dented the airbag you can work bro i'm not paying you to sit around go judah go judah hype me up you got that shit judah i honestly don't know how to get this one out no you got judah don't worry don't stress y'all y'all just wait i'm gonna get a tat on the ass 100,000 subscribers gonna do it no don't say that because that's like next weekend dude judah got like if judah got 200 in like two weeks type shit like really fast i would do some stupid shit like that oh we got it though. We unclipped it. Look, I use these pliers because they're like locked in and I pried it and now we're loose, baby. And now I think I honestly need to pull the seats out. Thanks, Matthews, for all the help. Thanks. If you're watching this video and like you have like a house fam, a, a, like a shop fan, and a little AC unit for the window, send it to Judah, bro. It's you're getting hot in here? It's because you're working so hard. I'm just so excited to get this thing on the road, bro. I'm it's done, Matthew's like, I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> See, the thing is, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> He's not even lying. Like, like, I have no idea how this pops out. Like, I'm literally just gonna start prying and hope that like, don't mess things up. It'd be nice if I could watch YouTube videos on this, but saying that I'm the first one ever to do this, Bro, these are some gorilla clips right here. These clips are no joke. Bro, somehow I'm sweating more than you. Like, I, I can feel it in me. We're just so excited, man. Get this panel off, bro. Bro, bro this is on there. Come Dude. on. Get yeah. that, you! You! Get that clip! Dude, you're about to have the lightest C8 in the country.
it's coming. Isn't it crazy? We're just ripping this bitch apart. No, no guys, <laughs> no instructions. Like literally, it's not like you can watch like a YouTube video how to replace your C8 seat belts. Just tug and pull. Like literally, it's like, oh, I guess we probably should pull on this. Give it a little elbow grease. God. Use your little pry bar. Oh my God, bro, these clips are insane. Come on, Judah. It's like they're brand, it's like they're brand new. Okay, now I'm gonna need a little two-man action here. So this is what Judah's trying to get off on the other side. These little clips stronger than your average man. No cap. Average relationship too. <laughs> Julia's relationship. I've been broke so many times. Ah, don't Julia's, know what to believe. <laughs> so these clips are pretty strong. I don't know why. He's so not we're gonna right. take the speaker out. That was way easier than undoing that clip. I don't have a lot of money, so make sure I don't break anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the seatbelts exposed. Check these things out. Why did these come out? Oh, there it is. Bro, why are these clips so hard to get out? Boom! Got it out. How's it looking? I must start pulling apart the center console and finding the seatbelt module. I don't know what it looks like, but we'll find out. Isn't that right? Judo fucking fix it. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> Come on, there it is. Got it? A little bit. A little finagle. She looks concentrated. With a little bit of constipated. <laughs> Dude, look at this clip. This is like a transformer. This thing's insane looking. I don't know what, how to even start taking this out. That's a crazy looking clip. Maybe this just goes back or this goes, oh. 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 It's easier than it looks. All right, here we go. Uh, all right, this is where it needs a lot of finagle. I got it. Don't scratch the paint. Watch the paint. Watch, watch the fresh paint, man. You know, we're making history out here. First ones on YouTube to pull a C8 seat out. First ones to rebuild a C8. It's actually mad comfy. I can just picture it. I have my driving stick, but it's automatic. It's more like this. Power shifters. Matthew, take a seat in that thing. Okay, Tell me how you feel. Let me see them seat me. Let me get the vibes right. Let me get... Hey, give me the claw. Give me the claw. I mean, I can't wait to ride in it. Time for the next seat now. They're gonna see like a 20 second clip, but it took us 30 minutes. This one, you know, once you do one, the second one's always easier. Don't jinx yourself. <laughs> Boom. Pow. We haven't broke a clip yet. Knock on. Yeah, you better knock, knock on something. Knock on wood. That's the main thing I was worried about is breaking a clip. Look, it's got writing in there. It says, look at Rod Waves Corvette uh, signature. Subscribe to Judas Garage. That's what it says. That's crazy. That's How'd they know? <laughs> Damn, boy. Damn, boy. <laughs> That's a thick ass boy. Damn boy, she thick. How does that one come out easy? And this one doesn't want doesn't want to come out. I literally that. said, cut the clip. This one, you know, once you do one, the second one's always easier. What? The fuck? Come on, little bitch. Fucking with me. This clip's really tapping me right now. Is there another one? Another one. <laughs> come on. Get the saws off. Boom. Got it unclipped. Did you cut it off? No, I got it. Just a little bit of finesse. Hombre. Look, look. You know what TJ Hunt calls his Not friend great. Nino? He's like, my Not little Nino. Great. I don't want to be called Nino, Judah. You're my little Nino. Fuck you. I'm about to cut <laughs> this camera. Nice. You're my little Nino, Matthews. <laughs> All right, uncut. All right, door closed. Nino. <laughs> so now we got the seatbelt not out, but we got them loose. Got the seats out. Now we're going to find this uh, seatbelt module, I guess. I don't know what it looks like, but we're going to find it. Bro, I swear, like, I don't even know what I'm doing, but like, like oh, that popped up. Oh, there it is. Damn, boy. What do you think this is? Is it like a fuse panel? Yeah, fuse yeah. panel. Yeah. So I think I just found the airbag module. I didn't know what it looked like, where it was at, but I know in other cars, it's like usually up under the console. And it looks like this is it right here. So that like needs to be reset since the airbag's deployed. So now we gotta figure out how to pull this whole console out. And I don't know, I don't know how to do it, but we're working. You know, there's not very many videos on how to pull a C8 interior apart. So, you know, we're doing the best that we can. Hopefully we'll get it by the end of the night.
We'll see. Jeez. One bolt at a time. So the dash has given us some issues. So I've decided to take my attention onto the airbag because we're going to pop this off now because I ordered a new one. And <laughs> now we're going to work on this. So, you know, we're doing the best with what we got. Oh. Okay, so usually when these airbags blow, it melts these in. So I'm going to have to get a new clock. It's called a clock spring. Yeah, these things are melted in here. This guy just doesn't stop. We're trying to go out. And he's like, come on, get this thing on the road. I'm trying to take this thing to the club. <laughs> Yo, who wants this airbag? This thing's pretty sick. It'd be sick to have this airbag. I bet a lot of people would love to have this. If you want this, follow me on the Instagram and I'll let you know how you can win it because I think I'm gonna give this away. Oh, did you get that? <laughs> yeah. Oh! Bro, do, do not tell me I'm not the man, bro. <laughs> no one does it like me. What'd you do, Judah? Broke the dash. <laughs> That's the airbag module that I was looking for. Yeah. I think there's only one. This is why we just pulled the whole dash to get this little module out. And now I can send this out to my boys at Safety Restore, send these seatbelts out, and then we put the whole interior back together. Easy, right? This is all to get the airbag light to turn off. Cause if I didn't do this, the airbag light would have stayed on. Oh, the future's looking bright. That hex head, we don't really need. All we needed was this. I felt around, you know, put my fingers up in there real deep. <laughs> so I literally put this in there and we found the right size. It's really not that whatever that hex head type thing. It's really, this is all I needed. So now I'm going to put a, a ratchet in there with a little extension and we're going to get these seat belts out. Then we can send them out tomorrow morning. Our boys are going to fix them and send them out to us real quick. Interior is going to be finished by the end of this week. So that's exciting. Oh, you know, thanks for all the help, Matthew. You're such a, look at Matthew, literally drinking a claw. It's Friday night. My friends are Workaholic. I'm Matthew just paid. wants a party. I'm not getting That's paid. Right. I'm not on the clock. So what do you gotta say, Judith? You're getting fired. I'm basically a volunteer. <laughs> you must be a volunteer. You must be a boss. Like, fire me. I'm volunteer. Damn, son. Matthew's like the seatbelt's out. We're finally going out. Let's see it from now. Me whipping. Judah, bro, passenger. Bro, we honestly could sell those seats. Look at like, you're like. There's way more room without the seats. Yeah, I think it's better. If we're gonna sleep in here, you I know. I mean, we're gonna travel across the country. Move out of the house. Sell everything we own. We'll live in the C8 and make videos for a year. Say, you know what they say? They say, uh, you can live in your car but you and. Can't, but you can't race your house. Or yeah, something. yeah, you can live in your car, but you can't race your house. This so. is true. Bro, I'd live in a car if it looked like this. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. This thing's gonna be on the road a lot faster than you guys think. A lot of you guys are doubting me, but you shouldn't because look at we're pros. Yeah, he got the number one hype man around, bro. <laughs> but he can do it all. He can do it all. Come on now.